Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love and welcome to your pick a message reading. I have three oracle decks in front of me and I've been trying to get a message out to you guys through the oracles for the last few days. Um, I would like you to pick yourself an oracle deck. You have the choice of number one, the Mother Mary oracle, number two, the Rumi oracle and number three, the Journey of Love oracle. Okay, I will timestamp for you guys in the description box um, when your message begins for your chosen pile. Pile number one, the Mother Mary Oracle. Okay, let's give these cards a shuffle. And we should see. Um, oh, it feels like we might be in a bit of a hurry. Okay, we'll see what the message is, but as I'm shuffling the cards, not they feel snappy, but um, okay quick it feels quick let's get the message out to you okay the message is our lady of answered prayers card number seven okay here is your oracle message our Lady of Answered Prayers, I hear your every thought, your every prayer uttered under the breath. I feel every beat of your sacred heart as it yearns for my limitless love. Do you imagine that I could be ignorant of that which you need the most? Or that I would neglect attending to the deepest needs of your sacred heart? Do you imagine that I am not moved by your suffering or your courage? My beloved, I have already answered your every heartbeat and you must now look for me to see that I stand right before you and have never left you. I am with you now and your prayers are answered through my miracles and my grace. Have faith in me. Prayer is a powerful practice. Sometimes we might worry that we are not saying the right words or that our prayer is too simple or too confusing. Prayer is just speaking with the divine from the heart. There is no need for ornate words or perfect expression. Whatever comes from your heart is the most powerful prayer. Prayer is conversation with the divine in the same way that we communicate regularly to build a human relationship, to strengthen our relationship with the divine. We can choose to communicate regularly too, morning and night, we can utter a quick prayer from the heart. Mother Mary, be with me, guide me, protect and assist me, that I can serve love. Thank you. It is like getting dressed spiritually, wearing an invisible but palpable robe of protection and grace. It is subtle, but extremely effective. And when done regularly, you will notice a difference over time. You'll eventually wonder how you ever managed without it. Perhaps you may worry or be confused as to what you are needing protection from, but there is no need to be fearful. There are many distractions and distortions that exist in the world, from the most mundane and yet powerful forces of media and advertising, to the more subtle and yet also very powerful undercurrents of unprocessed fear that exist in the collective human soul. We are able to live more freely, with greater trust in the steps we are asked to take in our lives, if we have some help in deflecting influences that could unnecessarily undermine our self-confidence and make our tasks more difficult than they need to be. This oracle brings a profound message of peace in that your prayers are being answered now. Feeling the relief of this realisation can help that answer reach us more quickly. A soft, receptive heart, rather than a heart hardened by fear or expectation of disappointment, can be touched by the divine more easily. Answers always come. It is our ability to recognise them, to be moved by them, and to allow the solution to unravel that can be the challenge. When we call upon the Divine Mother, 
we are also assisted with our ability to let go of our attachment to the difficulty, the pain, the problem, and instead to let go, to open up to the healing, the solution. Part of how this happens is through being willing to not just look at your life situation now, but to really see your life through the eyes of your heart. There is something or someone that is happening in your life now that is the seed of the answered prayer. The situation is being resolved. Sometimes this is, sometimes this is in its earliest stages and we have to wait a while before we can consciously recognize that the miracle is manifesting right before our eyes. At other times, however, it is meant to happen now. The solution is right in front of us. When this oracle appears, your solution is not in a distant future, but under your feet in the here and now. Open your heart and open your eyes. You can pray that you can see the answer before you now and become capable of accepting the divine help that is offered to you now with the following healing process and affirmation. This oracle is assuring you that your prayer is capable of being resolved. It is also encouraging you to hold a soft, receptive heart in realization that the answer is already tapping at the door of your heart, waiting for it to open up and receive. Okay, so let's uh, end your message with this healing process and affirmation. Close your eyes and place your hands in prayer position at your heart. If this doesn't feel natural for you, you may like to gently hold your hands together at your heart but open with palms facing upwards as though ready to receive. If you have a prayer that you would like to say, either for the first time or repeated, you can speak the prayer quietly in your mind or aloud. Just speak naturally from the heart as though talking to your best friend. Then imagine the words that you have spoken transforming into soft golden light in the air in front of you. The soft golden light of your prayer rises up towards an even brighter golden light burning like a sun just above you. As the light of your prayer enters into that golden light, it bursts into stunning flames of golden fire. Feel the nourishing warmth of those golden flames, gently warming the crown of your head and all the way down into your heart and hands with a soft feeling of goodness. Know that your prayer is answered. When you are ready, say the following prayer, repeating it quietly in your mind, or if you can, speaking it aloud. Mother Mary, full of grace, help me find the courage within to accept the answers to all my prayers. Help me surrender my thoughts of how this should be and to lovingly embrace what is. I trust you completely. I thank you for your divine intervention and protection. May I feel that you are with me always through your miraculous grace. The heartfelt prayers of the world are answered. Thank you. Rest quietly for a moment. When you are ready, you may like to finish this healing process with this affirmation. Holy Mother of Grace, in all of my life, I see your loving gaze. I accept all that is and all that will be. I accept your healing intervention that I may live my divine destiny. In service, my heart opens and receives you now. Okay, thank you, pile number one, uh, who chose the Mother Mary Oracle. Pile number two, the Rumi Oracle. Let's give these cards a shuffle. And we shall see what message would like to come out for you today. 
or would like to be given to you. Okay. So there's this energy of it's not something that's kind of coming from you. It feels like it's an energy that's going to be put into you. Okay. And your card is Beyond Death Life. Card number one. Like death will be ta is taken out of you. You're having life put back into you. Okay, here is your message. Beyond death, life. <clears throat> Footprints lead to the shore of the sea. Beyond that point, no trace remains. Rumi. I am calling to you. Can you hear me? Listen. Within your hearts, there I speak. My voice rings true. You are urged beyond what has been. This time has come. The time has come. Lay it to rest now. This ending comes as grace to free you from all that you have known. For what you have known is now too small for your soul. Bear your uncertainty with equanimity. I am certain enough for both of us. Allow me to show you the light that you are that burns within you, blazing angel of heavenly purity. I will unveil you to yourself, undressing your ego, casting aside its layers, as tender as a lover, with unwavering attention upon the sacred body of light. You shall know yourself in truth, as pure beyond all experience, untainted, ever innocent, as a pure vessel, stripped bare, ready for the divine realization, ready for the divine revelation, as light, as life, as love. The soul craves variety because it leads to wholeness and wholeness leads to divine revelation. The purpose of the soul incarnating in this world in the first place is to realize its divinity through the sacred crucible of life. The older the soul, the closer it is to the realization of divine oneness and the more powerful its determination to shed that which will constrain complete and conscious immersion into the divine presence. So here you are, an old soul at the edge of something you have known at the cusp of an ending and a beginning Perhaps you are already in surrender and falling in, or perhaps you are fearful and resisting as you greet your unknown destiny. Yet this moment is happening because your own divine soul has chosen for it to be this way, so that love may grow. There is no punishment in this ending, nor is there anything to fear. There may be pain, there may be grief and loss, there may be uncertainty and, e and even insecurity. Yet you have a heart big enough to bear such growing pains. Your heart is even big enough to receive the joy that is lying in wait for you as you stumble across her in the course of your clumsy, inspired travails into new life. You can scoop her up in your arms and spin her wildly about as she delights in your embrace, throwing her head back and laughing her vibrant, contagious laughter, filling you with exquisite ecstasy. Yes, you shall know the truth, the knowledge that the divine is with you, guiding every unfolding moment of your life journey. No matter how dark it may, uh, may first appear, the divine is with you in unflinching generosity, with compassion, and with fierce passion for your blooming into all that you are, all that you can be. Let me just repeat that. No matter how dark it may first appear, the divine is with you in unflinching generosity, with compassion and with the fierce passion for your blossoming into all that you are, all that you can be. 
So what must you do to receive this divine grace, this new life? You must be willing to face death. It may be that death has come to you in the form of loss of a beloved one, a physical loss that takes you into the darkest despair or depths of your grieving heart. It may be death that comes to you in the ending of a financial or professional situation you once relied upon. It could also be in the sense that you don't really know who you are anymore. Old identities having shown themselves to be inadequate, inaccurate, mere ego masks too small for the great being that you are starting to suspect you may be. <clears throat> Your death may be a choice to let go, to take a step in a new direction, to move house, to end a relationship, to change career, or to step away from a religious or philosophical tradition or a group or teacher. Your death may not feel as though it has come by choice at all. It may be a sickness that leaves you feeling helpless, a relationship or other life circumstance changing when you wish with all your heart that it would not. Your transition through this death may be triggered by an inner feeling that you cannot quite pin down. Nonetheless, it's pow it powerfully propels you away from what has been and towards untapped possibilities, perhaps even towards great confusion as you encounter life in a new way, feeling even somewhat unprepared and uncertain as to what may lie ahead of you now. How you deal with this grace, hidden though it may first appear to be under the cloak of crisis, is up to you. You have enough spiritual intelligence to shift perspective and to choose, if you wish, to rest your inner gaze upon what lies beyond the death. Gaze instead upon the new life that is calling you. When you know deep within that no matter what experiences you have had in your life, that you are untainted, you will be more easily able to trust in the love the divine has for you you won't question your worthiness and therefore you will trust in life more easily and more fully, no matter how much it asks of you at times. The divine is a relentless lover. It wants nothing less than your total being to be held in its embrace. Sometimes that means we will have to give up lesser loves for the greater lover, the divine one that calls us to remember our true nature. You are a beautiful blazing soul, having a human experience that defies explanation and opens you up to divinity. That is what is happening in your life now. Whether the death is obvious and painful to you, or whether you are uncertain as to how it is as yet showing up in your life. Either way, there is an ending imminent and new life coming to you with greater opportunity for your radiant soul to shine its beauty in the world. Grasp it eagerly, beloved. Now is not the time for fear or hesitation. Focus on what is becoming, whilst honouring what is no longer to be. Okay, thank you. There's your message, pile number two. Pile number three. The Journey of Love Oracle. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me just clear my throat. Let's give these cards a shuffle. Okay, can we have a message please from the Journey of Love Oracle? And your message is card number nine, the heart of God. You are part of something profound 
a divine calling and privilege. It is the role of the inspiratrix or inspirator upon this earth. The women and men who have hearts capable of bliss. Bliss is what we feel when we let God in. The heart opens and we cannot speak for the sensation of it. It cannot be described. Great hearts can tolerate mystery. They can bear the enormity of divine bliss beyond analysis and description and simply be. You don't have to do anything with it, you see. To be the inspiration is to have a heart open to the divine. It's a life calling. Your heart is an inspirational force to be loved, recognised and protected for the precious catalyst of divine awakening that it is. Be led by your heart. God is in it, speaking through it, calling you forth to love and the love that flows through your heart filters out through your toes, dripping on those beneath you as stars falling from heaven. This oracle holds a message for you, direct from the divine. You have a sacred purpose to fulfill upon this earth and it's all sorted out. This situation, this issue, this awakening that you seek and are living even now is held lovingly in the hands of the divine creator. The creator says to you, leave it with me. It's all unfolding in perfection. I am alive in your heart. I am your heart. And to finish off your reading, pile number three, we have this poem. When souls are touched with love sublime and hearts unleash the wonder found, a promise made somewhere in time of words that speak without a sound. In gratitude, we transcend space and bless the gifts we now can keep of thoughts caress in soft embrace and eyes aloud in joy to weep. The moment song that we compose will leave this life with no regret and carry forth what we impose to chart again a course once set. For what we have is ours to own, each breath a step we measure sweet. Together now, we wait alone and walk in peace, our hearts complete.